the rumor surfaced this week that our guy LeBron James has been caught in a cheating scandal. I'm going to let you guys hear the latest from the fumble, and then we'll break it down. Erza Halidi, who is married to Denver Broncos tight end Nick Van Nett, is accusing the Lakers legend of cheating. She posted an Instagram saying, am I the only one that's not a fan of LeBron? I guess I've never been a fan of guys that cheat on their wives, especially with Sophia Jamora. Who is Sophia Jamora? She's an Instagram model and has been linked to a number of eligible bachelors, including Kyle Kuzma, LeBron's teammate. She's been spotted courtside at a number of Lakers games, but really, which LA-based influencer hasn't been seen at the Staples Center? It's a hot spot for all the IG models and celebrities around town. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me give you the rundown on this story right here. There's no other evidence, and y'all know I'm fair. I believe there's always two sides to a story. But you know what side of the story we getting? We getting the friend of the side chick story. Now, if there's any validity to this story, it's probably one of these situations where maybe the chick was LeBron James jump off. The side chick's friend wanted something. Maybe she said, you know, um, can I borrow three grand? Can I go with you to the Staples Center? Whatever. And the side chick to LeBron said, no, I'm not going to give you the money. I can't let you go. So that thought decides, well, you know what? I'm going to tell. It could be that. Or what I really hope is going on is it's completely unfounded. There's no smoke here. LeBron has been married since 2013. There's never been any inklings of anything other than a DM where he told this girl he teach her how to ball, which was really nothing. T-strings, I'm going to give it to you. Is there anything going on in this situation? Or is this just a case of the side piece, side piece upset? Man, I tell you, man, the thirst is real out there, man. You better believe it. Some of these hoes just need a bucket of water in their face. <laughs> Dudes too, but it's it's real out there. And you know, I'm not gonna con <clears throat> I'm not gonna condemn LeBron on the uh just on the, the say so of uh tertiary uh evidence. Mm -hmm. So it <clears throat> as as far as I'm concerned, you know, it's just another it's just another silly, you know fangirl trying to find her trying to find her way in you know now she accomplished what she set out to do if mm -hmm. she if she's a if she's an instagram model or somebody that's trying to fish for clout she did exactly what she did exactly what she needed to do to get the recognition that that she wanted her name and her instagram is now in the hands and the minds of millions of people right now Mm -hmm. okay. So, as far as I'm concerned, that's as far as it, that's as far as it go for me, um, you know. But it's it's sad that you know that it had to come. Whatever whatever the reason was, you she's not even you know she's not even a, a functioning party in the allegation. So she really, <laughs> you know, she really like uh, out of her lane. You know, I don't I don't condone it or anything like that, but. Hey, you out of you out of your lane speaking on stuff that you know that don't even concern you. Right. It, it just sounds like a hostage situation to me. Larry, run with it. Any is there any there's smoke, but is there really fire here? I don't even care if he's if he's if he's banging his chicks back out. Who gives a fuck? It's his business. If his wife is saying his wife hasn't left him, his wife if, if maybe his wife knows. Maybe if the wife is like, look, I don't have time to I don't have time to serve all of your sexual needs. So go find some chick that that looks nice and means nothing. And maybe she's cool with that. I mean, let's be That's real. That's true. That's there true. Are people people who people have all kinds of craziness that happens inside. And not even craziness. People just have different ways they manage their relationships. Mm -hmm. And we seem to see it more and more when you deal with people who are affluent. They seem to have a, I, don't, a, I don't want to call it an evolved way of thinking, but they have more of a liberal way of thinking and oftentimes where, yes, I don't necessarily want to have sex with you every day, but I still love you and want to be with you. So if you feel that, you, that it's better for, for yourself sexually to go find a friend, then do that. And people do that all the time. Some people have triads. 
Some people, you know, some people have thruples or whatever they call oh, them. I mean, there's there's all kinds of stuff that I don't know what's going on with that, if any of it's true or not. And to be honest with you, I don't really care if it's my I mean, let's be real. The thing is LeBron, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of LeBron because of his marriage. I mean, oh, I don't even goodness. know his wife's name. I am not a fan of LeBron James because of his marriage. I Her like name. LeBron James. I'm not even a fan of LeBron James because of his basketball skills. I'm more of a fan of LeBron James because of his business acumen. Her you know? name is Savannah. It, That's his uh, wife's name, Savannah. Okay, Savannah. I won't remember that by the time this episode ends. So it's of no consequence to me. Larry, you know? I got a question for you, Larry. You said a thruple. Is there a trapezoid? <laughs> There might be. I don't know. Is there you a know? parallelogram? There might be. Yeah, you know? that one. That's, that's there's all kinds of people. They have people that you know that that live in these in these oh, uh, you know in these relationships that have multiple multiple people in them. And so I agree. I mean, I don't know what they're doing. It's none of my business. And like I said, I'm not a fan of LeBron James because of that because of his marriage. So I mean, if he if he's banging out some Instagram chick. Is he going to be less of a businessman? Is he going to be less of a basketball player? No. I mean, let's just be real. The majority of the people out there that are that are in positions of power in business are men, and a lot of them have cheated on their wives or been in, in illicit affairs. They don't really give a fuck. They're just like, damn, that chick is hot and shit. I need to start hanging out with you so I can step my game up. You know? I mean, mm -hmm. they don't care. So and why should I? Let me follow up on this. There has been no word from LeBron James's wife, nor has there been any words from the alleged side piece. The only one running their damn mouth is the friend of the side piece who is married to an athlete, but that athlete ride the bench. I'm telling y'all, if there is anything going on there, this is just a case of the thoughts friend, that's a thought, that's married, is upset because the thought couldn't get none of the thoughts main squeeze money or clout simple as that if there's anything going on anything you know, and, and this is you know and this is one of those things that happens i imagine if you're famous you get out there people want to talk shit they want to clout chase they want to try and swagger jack they, it's just i mean if they they have to deal with it it's one of those things though is that if you're out there dealing with uh with anybody if if mm. if your name gets tied up with someone and there is some instagram person that has a few thousand or a few hundred thousand followers and someone can get the the word out there then yes it, then all of a sudden you know you can people start thinking oh is this true this sounds salacious is this true i mean you could probably be out there some gay dude could probably be out there and say that that he had an affair with michael jordan he and he's offended that they didn't interview him for for the last dance and all of a sudden now people are gonna be like oh shit, is that true is that true and then if they go and look and they see on his instagram where maybe this dude was like trying to pitch michael jordan some business stuff and all of a sudden there's a couple of messages going back and forth on twitter or instagram or something they're like, gonna be like oh michael jordan knew him this is a possibility let's investigate and it could just all be bogus someone's just basically trying to get their little their little five minutes of fame and and yep I mean, and even and if all that is true, the bottom line is I still don't give a fuck. Well, I just don't care. Well, that that little side piece need to be drugged through the mud for trying to intervene in something she ain't got no business being in. I'm with both of y'all. I'm with T streams on that. And with that being said, we're gonna here, move on. One last thing, if we can, if I can say one last thing before we move on. Go ahead. These oftentimes these chicks run around in the same circles and and when they're whether it's a basketball circle, a baseball, football, or just a professional athlete circle in general. And when you have a chick like that that's out there that's running her mouth, these dudes recognize that. They see that and they're like, no, I'm not fucking with you ever. Mm -hmm. You know? And no, oh, oh, you're with you're hanging with her? Nah, I'm not messing with you either because she's messy. And you know, but the, the so sad he, thing is, she's married. She's married to an athlete that ride the bench. Well, maybe that's part of the problem. Maybe she's just upset. Maybe, maybe she's upset because dude came home and said LeBron was hard on him and and yelled at him during practice or some shit. And no, so her her dude play football for the oh, Denver okay. Broncos. So.